The Ukrainian armed forces killed six North Korean army officers during an attack on the occupied territory of Donetsk Oblast on October the 3rd, Kyiv Post reported, citing its intelligence sources. More than 20 servicemen were killed in a missile strike on October the 3rd on Russian-occupied territory near Donetsk, including six officers from North Korea who had arrived for talks with their Russian counterparts, the statement said. It is noted that three more North Korean servicemen were injured. It is claimed that before the missile strike by the Ukrainian armed forces, the Russians allegedly demonstrated to their colleagues from the North Korea how soldiers were preparing for assault operations. Last year, Ukraine's main intelligence directorate reported the arrival of a limited contingent of servicemen from North Korea to the temporarily occupied territory of Ukraine, including units of engineering troops indicating active cooperation between Russia and North Korea. The Center for National Resistance reported in September 2023 that Russia was planning to bring North Korean citizens to the occupied territories of Donetsk and Luhansk for construction work. Moreover, Russian President Vladimir Putin, after meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in June of this year, persuaded his counterpart from Pyongyang to open diplomatic missions in Donetsk and Luhansk. The Center for National Resistance assessed that the North Koreans were invited to ensure the supply of labor in these regions as the Kremlin's war in Ukraine has resulted in a labor shortage throughout Russia and the occupied territories. Top Ukrainian defense officials and U.S. diplomats agree about one thing. North Korean arms deliveries to Russia are among the biggest threats to Kyiv's ability to defeat the Russian invasion. Lieutenant General Kirill Budanov, the Ukrainian chief of military intelligence, has called the non-stop ammunition shipments from North Korea to Russian ports in the Far East a direct threat to the Ukrainian front lines thousands of miles to the west. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told the United Nations Security Council last month that addressing North Korean and Iranian arms deliveries to Russia could be the first priority for the U.N. body. And U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin told lawmakers this spring that weapons from countries such as North Korea helped to keep Russia's war going. The denunciations of North Korean assistance for Moscow's war effort, which has been apparent for two years, have redoubled after the signing this summer of a rejuvenated Russia-North Korea defense pact. Блять, вон он полетел, сейчас взрыв будет. Ебать! If Kyiv does receive approval from the West to use Western weapons to strike deep into Russian territory, the armed forces of Ukraine will strike 261 military facilities of the Russian armed forces, such as large weapons depots and permanent deployment points of Russian troops. This was reported by the German magazine Der Spiegel, citing analysts from the Institute for War Research. If Kyiv strikes these facilities with Storm Shadow air-launched cruise missiles, their fire damage, according to Western analysts, will significantly complicate Russian military logistics. One of Russia's most important advantages in the conflict is its ability to move troops en masse from safe areas deep within its own territory. If this advantage were to be compromised, it would significantly hinder Russian operations and increase Ukraine's chances of seizing operationally important territory, 
explained ISW Geo Data Group Director George Barros. Earlier, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell stated that possible deliveries of long-range Atticms missiles are being actively discussed by American authorities. At the same time, U.S. State Department Representative Matthew Miller previously emphasized that Kiev does not need Washington's permission for strikes by the Ukrainian armed forces deep into Russia only if they use their weapons on their own territory. In August, the Russian Ministry of Defense demonstrated the operation of the Buk M3 anti aircraft missile system in the area of a special military operation, which intercepted and destroyed an American Atakms operational tactical missile launched by the Ukrainian armed forces.